What you see here is a Crest 2000 series. Four blades, 40 inches, brown and brass finish. Fan is flush mounted. Has flat pretzel shaped blade irons and antique oak stencil blades. The two chains are labeled fan and light so you can distinguish them as they are otherwise identical. And then the Crest logo is right there. The brass on this fan is tarnishing a bit. Therefore, I figured it'd be a pretty good fan to go up in the garage. I've had this fan for many years now. However, I was unable to put it up for the longest time because it didn't come with a mounting plate. However, I was able to take a mounting plate off of another fan I have and make it work on this fan, so. Now it is hanging. There's the light. And then there is low speed. Admittedly, Crest branded ceiling fans are usually a tier two below the type of fans I usually seek out. However, like I said, I've had this fan for a while. It was a gift a number of years ago, and due to this fan's somewhat unique appearance, I do plan on keeping it for the time being, as brown and brass is a rather uncommon finish combo for crests, and I think those pretzel irons are cool. And you can never go wrong with stencil blades as well. medium. Bearings are making some noise, but not much. And I do feel a breeze coming from this fan. Not a strong breeze, but a breeze. Now I'll take it to high.
fan is wobble free. It does have some bearing noise, but could be a lot worse for sure. And admittedly, airflow isn't half bad. Of course, not as good as a stack motor fan, but for a fan of its size, it's doing pretty good. Overall, not a bad performer by any means. Anyways, there you have it, a brown and brass Crest 2000 series fan.